he's sort of a caregiver. I think because he's been cared for so much, he tends to care for other people and is like very nurturing. I do remember the day. So he was six weeks old and he's my first born. And so I was just thinking that I was getting the hang of this mom with a newborn thing where I was like, okay, we got a routine, we're flowing here. We got the call and it was confirmed that he did in fact have sickle cell disease. It felt like it took forever and it was just a few days to just get to find out what this meant, you know, for his life. I was so grateful to the doctors there as they explained, it's, it's such a horrible disease, but they were able to help us understand it and just, you know, help us to know that we'll deal with one thing at a time. Yeah, it was, it was definitely a, a different experience as a kid because, you know, like you see, you know, a lot of the other kids and my peers and stuff having, you know, not having to pace themselves and not having to, you know, take frequent breaks and not having to, you know, do this and that. So it was definitely something, you know, I had to always be mindful of the situation I was in or, you know, what I was doing, if I had, you know, everything I needed at the time. And so, um, yeah, it was just, you know, definitely just different from, you know, a lot of my classmates and stuff like that. Just um, um, always, you know, be aware. He got very sick to where they weren't sure, you know, once again, if he was gonna make it, but during that time, he actually um, went to cardiac arrest and he flatlined for over 10 minutes. They were able to bring him back. And then it was, we had already been sort of talking about that there was this, this new gene therapy thing happening and that possibly he would be, you know, a candidate. Of course, at first we were like very, uh, you know, nervous and just like on the edge about it because we, you know, tried so much stuff. And, you know, a lot of things have, you know, not ended up working that well or working for that long of a time. So, you know, we were very uh, cautious about it, but, um, you know, it turned out to be, you know, something that was amazing that you know, was really, you know, had a big impact on my life. We were so grateful when his team, you know, said, you know, we, we, we want to we wanna look at trying this out for Kana. Yeah, he's, he's here because, because of his, his team. They, they didn't just stop at medical and medicine. They have gone beyond that. Right after uh, I got out of the hospital, I went to, I took a trip to New York. So that was like something I, you know, always wanted to do. I think it's like being an adult now, like I finally am able to like to start thinking about the future more. Cause like as a kid, it was really just, you know, day by day, see what happens. And so I was never really able to think about what I wanted the rest of my life to look like. So, you know, ever since like this treatment and stuff, I just been planning. Um, you know, what I want to kind of, you know, do or, you know, what direction I want to head in. So, um, you know, something I've been thinking about is just, you know, going, maybe going back to school, going to college. I also do photography, so that's um, another thing I've been, you know, getting back into. So that's pretty much the biggest things right now. For all of these years, he, him being born 21 years ago, there was no hope of a cure. And then to, to get to that place where, oh my goodness, like we never imagined that you know, for his 21st birthday, he could, you know, see the future in a different way. 